everyone, great night students. Um, so this video is about um, the coloring of your Fauvism drawing project. Um, before we start it, before um, I, we apply the colors, I want you guys to have something um, ready on hand. Okay, the first one is the... <coughs> is there... Um, what's the name of this again? Yes, inherent value of colors. So with this on hand, then it can help you to check the um, the colors um, in relate to the grayscale gray here. The reason why do we need to um, have the grayscale here? Because uh, what I want you to use is the um, black and white version of your um, uh, reference image. So the reason why I don't want you to use a um, colored version, no, not this one. The reason why I don't want you to use a color version of your reference image because I don't want you to be affected by the colors here. Um, um, the lesson we are learning now, the style we are trying to um, adapt, trying to adapt to your painting is um, um, Fauvism. That's why. Um, Please uh, take it away and then try to get a black and white copies. So for the students you do not have printer at home, um, you can always use a um, use a picture on your computer um, when you need to reference the things. Now I would uh, like to demonstrate how to work with oil pastel first. So uh, when I uh, I'm done with oil pastel, then I will proceed to um, color pencil. So if you're Using color pencil, please be patient, or you can just skip the video to um to the to the later part. All right, so I like to start the later part. So usually, um, the oil pastel tend to be very dirty once you use it. Then okay, the mark will be left on the. Pastel, so you need to wipe the stains off before you use it. Um, so, when you start the project, also have your um, paper on hand too. Mm. So, this is the lightest part. Uh, I don't want you guys to stick to any um, typical color choices because this is Fauvism. You should try to um, play with the color, try to um, get a more playful image. So if you put this color, check this color to the scale here, you'll find that, okay, this is yellow when I put it here. This is this tone. So uh, I also have a black and white version here so that you can understand more. Okay, why this tone, this color, is similar to the grayscale here? Why, when you see the highlight colors in the grayscale project, you can um, use this one, two, three, four, these um, lighter color options because uh, when you turn the things into black and white, it's actually the same tone. See? All right, so uh, as I just mentioned before, do not just stick to one color, even though you are doing the light tone, even though you cannot see other colors here, but you can see some lighter shadow here, right? So um, try to pick some more lighter tone color on hand when you need to um, color the lighter part. I know on this chart, you don't see many colors. There's only like 24 or 25, but the one I'm having now is 36. So I have uh, more, um, color options on hand. So yes, I suggest you guys to use uh, more colors, but remember that the color should be, the tone should be similar. So now I'm doing the light part. So there's no way for me to use uh, any dark color like uh, green, red, or blue, pur dark purple. So try to have uh, some variations of different colors, but remember, okay, all the color you're using, I mean the colors mixed together should be analogous color. That means similar color. If you're not sure about the tone, you can always have uh, a rough paper on hand and then test out the color here to see if they are similar. 
So see, one, two, three, and also orange. These are some similar color, so I can use this color. Okay, uh, in the same area, dark. So you can, okay, use similar tone. What do I mean similar tone? So green and gray, okay, in your mind, you don't think they're, uh, they should put should be put put together. But um, when you look at the color here, okay, they're actually quite similar, right? So you can also try to apply this lighter green at the top because this is the lighter area. And we are doing some painting. That's why you can try to play with the color. But play, playing with the color, doesn't mean that you just randomly put the color together. You still need to put the colors according to um, the value of this color. So guys, do you still remember what's the meaning of value? Yes. Value in art language means uh, the darkness or lightness of one color. So try to pick the one with similar tone, similar value while you're choosing the color, applying the colors. So, um, because uh, oil pastel tends to be messy, so when you're applying the color, um, try not to press it too hard, otherwise there will be so many little pieces um, going off so if you want to avoid the smudges on your picture, then try to um, color it moderately. You cannot, okay, you are not suggest to color it too lightly. So um, I think I'm done with the demonstration with, uh, with oil pastel. So now time for the student who have color pencil only. The reason why I'm trying to um, um, use these two colors together for one picture because uh, I know some students um, do not have oil pastel or do not have a color pencil. So um, I'm using these two types of colors in one picture. It doesn't mean that you need to use uh, two colors, okay? For you, I only suggest you, I only recommend you to stick to one type of color, okay? If you're using oil pastel, then okay, fine. You're using oil pastel for the whole thing. If you are using um, color pencil, then okay, stick to color pencil. Do not mix these two things together. So um, as long as you have clear mind, clear concept of uh, the values of this color, then um, you can start it with light tone, mid tone, or shadow, it's up to you. So uh, now I have um, this uh, dark blue on hand, so I will start applying the color with uh, shadow. Applying the colors to the shadows first. So I will pick a few more colors then. That will be faster the process. Okay, look at the picture here, and then you will see that most shadow tone are located on the trees. So yes, I know the trees should be green, but again, we are doing fall for some style. Try to be playful with the colors. Again, being playful with the colors doesn't mean that you are using the colors randomly. The reason why I picked purple because um, purple is a, a darker tone according to your chart here, right? Darker tone. So that's why I'm using purple. Um, and to make, to enrich the layers, the textures of your thing, of your drawing, try to use a few more colors when you're coloring the same space. So I'm doing the tree. I'm trying now. I'm trying to use dark blues to fill out the white part. So, um, color pencil. You can still create something looks like. Okay, um, for some style, but the time to fill in the colors 
with a color pencil is just way much longer than all of style. That's why I would recommend you guys to use all the style if you have all the style. So do not only use one color for one area. Always use um, three to five colors for one area. But remember, the colors using together should be similar. I mean, the tone should be similar. What's the name of these types of color? Yeah, yes, and analogous color. So as you can see, this area is uh, is the darkest area I tend to use. So now we can try to do this middle tone. Again, pick few more colors on hand. So one thing I want to remind you is that when you look at the color chart here, the color scale here, okay, so if you're using green, blue yes this color is similar but okay there are some warm okay um this this is a cool color scale this is a warm color scale so but they are actually in the same area of mid-tone so you can also i think this one is a brownish color this one is um, similar to the orange here right okay i'm using this one So what, for what I mean similar is the color, the colors are within the same scale, middle, middle tone scale, then I can use green. Uh, same songs of, the, uh, of this value scale. So if you go back to your color scale, you will find that, okay, green is actually next to blue. So if you're using middle tone, mid tone, you can choose a light blue too. I don't suggest you to use dark blue. Do you know why? Yes, because they belong to, they belong to what? The shadow, the darker tone. Now we are doing the middle tone. So there can be two different styles of putting similar tone colors together. Okay, one is to mix the color, like the trees here. I um, mix the, the green, purple, green, purple, and also dark blue. But uh, um, on the metal here, on the land here, I use a, uh, I try to, I tend to separate the colors I'm using. I just overlap different colors a bit. So it's up to you which styles you want to um, try on. Um, but if you're not confident with uh, this new coloring skill, then you can test out different color combination on the scrap paper first. Cut the little road here, the meandering road. So I think your attention span is not very long, so I'm going to stop here. So before we go, I also want you to take a look at another example here. This is a city view. Again, when I'm doing this, the reference I'm looking at is not a color picture. So this is the sample I show you in the class, right?
but while I'm working on it, I'm applying the colors to this picture. The one I'm looking at is this one. Then I'm looking at this scale. So as you can see, okay, the building here, there is some dark purple, dark blue. Um, the reason why I'm using this, this color, because when you look at the black and white picture, you will see these lines are some darkest part, this line a shadow. So I am using the color choices here. And I also use some um, peach, um, peach color and yellow. This color are uh, for some high light part, the middle of the building here. So I'm using the options here, high light. And you can also see the middle tone in between the lines and um, bigger areas on the building. That's why I'm using, okay, green and orange and blue. Okay, for this uh, middle tone on this building, I was also applying the same concept here on this building. So what I want to tell you is that, okay, can you guys observe the difference between these two colors? This one, yes, this one is done um, with the uh, oil pastel. This one is a uh, what um, color pencil thing look like. Mm -hmm. So that's all for today.